Elli Soger. Hei, mä oon Jonna ja mä oon Suomesta ja tää on mun ensimmäinen The rocks are like nothing else. The views are spectacular. The way the light hits it in the morning, it's like no place on the world. You must have an instant respect for nature. Being able to climb them on the bike, I mean, it's it's just a, a, a present, it's a gift for everybody. It's always a very interesting experience to be on an Oat start line with all the different emotions going on. People love riding and being able to do it with people who you've never met before being able to ride in a place which is completely new or foreign, and then riding with someone from South Africa or someone from Chile. And I think that's the beauty of the Oort route. Cycling is for all people, all sizes, shapes, names and countries. Hi, I'm Elsa Cameron. I'm from the UK and I'm 20 years old. My name is Will. I'm from Sydney, Australia. I think it's just kind of the one one interest and one love for cycling and the desire to kind of do something that challenges you. Something that spans across all ages and all kind of from all parts of the world. Wanting to see, see the world and, and cycle. It's fun to see them all go by me and uh, see the different flags from where they're from and and try to pronounce their names before they can't hear me because they're going too fast. <laughs> yeah. My name is George Croft. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. I am 70 years old, just an old man on two wheels. Benjamin Wilkes, uh, and I live in Denver, Colorado. Today's uh, time trial is going to be exceptionally difficult. I don't know the last time I've ridden over 5,000 feet at elevation in under 13 miles. It's going to be hard. It's about mentally framing yourself to go up as fast as you can. I started cycling in 2019, right after I had my second baby. Meu nome é Maíra, eu sou do Brasil, da cidade de São Paulo. I've only been cycling for about 10 years. I just started cycling around the neighborhood on an old mountain bike that my kids bought me when they were in high school. I started when I was a little kid, riding BMXs back in Sydney. My first job was delivering prescription drugs to little ladies. Becoming a mom actually really did my head in, in a way, and I decided to do some, like, a sport. So I fell in love with cycling. It's also so amazing to see people from different uh, nationalities and they're all together with the same, the same purpose. It's a life-changing experience, riding with people who you know from years past. They still remember you because you've had that common experience of riding through some of the hardest roads in the world. That's a bond which you never forget. 
don't know how you could even come close to replicating an experience like this on your own. Where else would you really want to be? Thank you, Odrit, for bringing us here. It's the most beautiful place I've ever been. And I feel quite emotional. <laughs> I had the pleasure to meet amazing cyclists and winning or not, I think I, I would leave the Otahood feeling as a winner anyway. It's one of those beautiful words when you're riding along to say ciao when someone says ciao back. Ciao a tutti gli amici italiani. Padrissimo. Outroute finisher. Gracias. Muito obrigado. Tote. Ci vediamo presto.